just the general vibe. The electricity in town has been so exciting to see that. <laughs> you know, everybody has really come together. We're even just seeing people collaborate more. Christmas has come to David City a little early, all thanks to a little known piece of history. We are the birthplace of Joyce C. Hall. He was born in the late 1890s and actually lived here to about 10, 11 years old. He is the founder of Hallmark Cards. Hall eventually moved to Norfolk where he opened his first card store. In 1910, he moved to Kansas City. It'd be another 18 years before he'd found the company we know today as Hallmark. And though Hallmark is a highly recognized brand, their founder's connection to Nebraska isn't widely known. I believe I've heard um, that there was a sign out on the highway right when you come off of Highway 92. Um, and I think it was, in, it was you know, worn in disrepair that it has been taken down. So our next objective is to, to really highlight those that are from, um, from David City. Hallmark Channel presents 10 years of television's biggest, most successful holiday tradition. That history brought the Hallmark Channel, a national cable network that features Christmas-themed movies during the holidays, to David City as part of the Hallmark Channel's new Hometown Christmas Initiative. The company showered their founder's boyhood town with the Christmas spirit by donating money for decorations. We were looking for a way to give back to communities, and bring communities back together, and give people as much joy and spirit as they give us at Christmas. So we thought that David City would be the best ever first stop for Hallmark Channel's Hometown Christmas, which is what we call this program. Hallmark's special recognition of the town inspired people from all over David City to give their time and talents turning this holiday season into something much larger. I'm on the Ag Society um, for here at Butler County, and so we kind of help with the shuttle parkings out at the fairgrounds, and the restrooms are open out at the fairgrounds. Um, and we both work in David City, so different portions of our jobs have filled the streets, I guess. <laughs> The town has gone through some difficult circumstances recently. The local Fargo assembly plant shut down and nearly 200 people lost their jobs. The early Christmas event gave the town something to celebrate. Just seeing the whole community come together, it's been a long process for the whole week, and so to finally see it all in production and done is going to be great. It's not just the adults who got in the Christmas spirit. Even pets got in on the action. The event brought people from all around, nearly doubling the town's population of 2,900. We actually live in Omaha. We thought it'd be a really fun opportunity to come out and see David City, and it was a good time just to get in the car, take a drive out here. And we, as a family, really, really enjoy the holidays. And so it's kind of like, why not get this kicked off early? It just seemed like a really good idea. Up until now, David City wasn't famous as the home of Hallmark's founder. But their early Christmas celebration brought nearly 5,000 people to town, and the Hallmark Channel spread the word to many more. The publicity even attracted one very special visitor. Santa is making his very first visit of the Christmas season here in David City tonight. Santa Claus is coming to town. Checking it twice, he's gonna find out who is naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. It appears the people of David City not only put together a celebration of the holiday. Two, one, but of this small town's can-do spirit.